it's a Hollywood movie, so of course the aliens attack us. Hell, they're cranky. It's been a long trip, 42 light years, and they've arrived during Memorial Day weekend, and there's no vacancy. And to be honest, our hospitality is not the greatest. No one ever says, hey, how was your flight? Pretty good. Traffic was light, but the GPS malfunctioned somewhere left of Saturn, but otherwise not bad. Thanks for asking. It's all about us, the Earthlings. We look up and see these gigantic spacecrafts, and the first thing we do besides panic is to shoot them out of the sky. To us, it's skeet shooting on a bigger scale. What about saying, hey, how many miles per gallon does that thing get? What's it made out of? Let me take you to Detroit. So the aliens come, they attack us. We defeat them and save our planet. But at the end of the day, what have we learned from the experience? That all foreigners are evil? That it's best to shoot first and ask questions later? Or that beauty is never skin deep? How about a movie where the aliens are friendly, helpful, and give great advice? They help us with the deficit, they do volunteer work. They find cures for diseases. They produce high quality films. They're funny, modest, and they never overstay their visit. One week, that's it. But that's never discussed, is it? We assume that they're going to stay forever. But again, we never ask. We only assume. And then the politicians get involved. Oh my God, just when everything was going great. The Republicans planned for war. The Democrats planned for more fundraisers. The aliens are exhausted. But does anyone bother to ask them how they feel? No, of course not. Why? Because it's all about us, the home team. And so the aliens decide to pack it up early and head home. For them, it was a vacation until the politicians got involved. They sneak out in the middle of the night, but leave a note. Dear Earthlings, what a beautiful home you have. It's breathtaking. It's such a pity that you're not grateful. They thought about leaving us the cure for death, but then reconsidered, thinking that we'd only screw it up. This is no Hollywood movie, but it's closer to reality than fantasy. <laughs>